Beautiful. And once we have jogged our memory on the short circuit evaluation as well as truthy and falsy values in JavaScript, now let's try to set them up in React. And we'll right away start with the challenge where basically I want you to navigate to this file and I want you to create two state values. One is going to be truthy and one is going to be falsy. And then in the JSX, I want you to set up both conditions for each operator. So try two of them with falsy. So or and 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 the same goes for truthy. And a tiny hint, you want to do that in the curlies in the JSX. So let's start working on that. Basically, in the app JS, I have a starter. And at the moment, I'm rendering this file. Okay, that's good. That's an awesome start. Now let me navigate over there. As you can see, I just have use state import. And now let's set up those two state values. Now you can go with Boolean. That's definitely an option, but I'm just going to go with empty string and string with some kind of value. So those are going to be my ones. I'm going to go over here and say falsy. Now let's create that value. So text and set text. And that is equal to use state. And like I said, we'll start with the falsy one. Then I'm going to copy and paste. So let me select both of these lines over here. And this is going to be truthy. So truthy over here. And as far as the name, I'm going to go with name and set name. Set name. And in here, as far as the default one, I'll go with Susan. Okay, that's awesome. So now let's navigate to JSX. And let's go over here with div. And before we type anything, let's just refresh our memory that in a JSX, we cannot do something like this. I cannot set up here a if condition, if and then something. This is not going to work. So we'll have some kind of condition regardless of the value. We'll get right away an error, something to keep in mind. So let me set this one up in a separate line. And let me just add that value just so it stays for your reference. So let's go over here and let's say it won't work. Won't work over here. And let me comment this one up. And since we cannot use if conditions in JSX, but we obviously still want to display stuff based on some condition, that's exactly why we need to understand how short circuit operators work in React. And now let's keep on moving. And effectively, you want to set up four heading fours. And in there again, I'll have both conditions. So let me start with the first one. And I'll say falsy. And this is going to be or example. Let me set up a colon, then I'm going to go with the curlies. And I'm looking for a text. So that's my falsy value. And I'm going to use my or operator. So now you have to guess, which one is going to be displayed? Is it going to be the text one, basically empty string or is it going to be a hello world? And once I save, I have hello world. Why? Well, because with or operator, if this is going to be falsy, then it's going to display the second value. So now let me copy and paste. And like I said, I want to set up four of them. So this is going to be end, and then this will be truthy. So now let me select both of them and I'll say truthy. And this one will be end. And in here, effectively, I just want to change the operator. And once I save notice, now I have empty string. So this is how it's going to work in React. Again, it's the same as in JavaScript. If we have falsy and we have and, then effectively we display the first one. So now let's just change this around where it's not going to be text. Essentially, I want to go with name. And you'll see that we have opposite behavior where if this is or, then we'll display the first one. However, if we have the and one, then of course we'll display the second one. So if this is truthy, then we right away display the second value. And lastly, I just want to mention that of course, we're not limited to just set up this functionality in the JSX directly. I can also do something like this, where I'm going to go with const and then code example. And that one is equal to whichever value I want. So again, I'm going to use the same one where I'm going to go with text and then 
hello world and then we can render it right away in the JSX. Just showing you multiple options that you have. Let me save that. And of course, since this is fuzzy again, we have or operator, so we display the second value. That should do it for general concepts. And uh, up next, let's look at the most common examples.